it where it matters most uko nje hapa kanisani ni neno la Mungu ama namna gani yes hiyo ndio inakuanga hivyo we have platforms for politics na ziko huko nje nyingi sana na mnajua tukiwa nazo tunazungumza lakini kwa kanisa hapana wacha tupate neno la Mungu vile tumefanya so i want to recognize the leaders that have come with his excellent deputy president tafadhali wale ambao ni aspiring MPs and MCS mameni tu you wave to the church nyinyi wote aspiring M leaders eh, senator kengo simama nyinyi wote gloria simameni ndio muonekane haya asanteni sana kwa sababu simama simama hivyo huyu anasimama senator eh, kisi county keti chini huyu anasimama eh, MP Bobasi and because nimeona tena mmejaa wengi ketini tu umekuwa wengi sana siwezi manage ku uh, recognize you wote alafu sasa tuko na sitting MCS tafadhali uh, tusimame move to the church wakiongozwa na mheshimiwa Apoko kule Apoko ni mtu wa neno sana ana anakuanga umurisia wa kanisa ya Seventh Day Adventist Church eh, asante sana nimeona nime speaker deputy speaker wetu na deputy minority is it minority asante thank you very much alafu sasa nikuje kwa viongozi wa hapa Eh, Zahir eh, Janda thank you very much nimeona huko unaimba tukiimba lakini nimeelewa ni kwa sababu mpaka nikauliza nikaambia wewe ujui hata jina hiyo ni ya Kiislamu ah, lakini asante kwa kuoshi pamoja na sisi thank you very much and then tuko na mheshimiwa eh, Shadrach Mose simama you have to the church this is a member of parliament for Kitutu Masaba constituency my colleague mheshimiwa eh, George Nyamuko member of parliament wa North Mugrango mimi nikiwa south and then hapa tuko na mheshimiwa Madhias Robi eh, kutoka kule Kuria West eh, i usually tell him wa Kuria ni wadogo when you are when you are a kid you are a Kuria when you grow up eh, you become a kisi azari <laughs> and then tuko na other eh, senior officers wa wa eh, tuko na other senior officers wanafanya kwa ofisi ya deputy president the chief of staff wa ofisi ya deputy president anaitwa Osinde mwana itonka ndio huyu yeye ndiye anasimamia wafanye kazi wote wa mheshimiwa and then uh, tuko na mzee Nyambati Walter the former MP wa Kitutu Masaba na pia yeye anasimama kiti cha governor na tulikuwa na Anthony Kibagendi huku eh, amekimbia kwingine Anthony Kibagendi mnamjua ni kijana wa hapa nyumbani na kwa sababu nimepewa instructions namna hiyo nani yana oh tuko na mheshimiwa Magara amulikuwa mmeintroduce pole ni same mheshimiwa tafadhali ni kwa sababu umeketi kwa laini ya wachungaji sasa mimi nika confuse kidogo hata nilikuwa nashindwa pastor gani amevaa yellow namna hiyo lakini <laughs> ni same tafadhali mheshimiwa Mingo Magara my former member of parliament and the national treasurer wa UDA chama cha UDA hivyo asante sana asante sana kila mtu nimemuona tafadhali Railo Tundo nimekuona asante eh oh, aspiring governor na mama Railo Tundo pia yeye amesema ni seme hivyo aspiring governor thank you very much na kwa sababu eh, nimepewa instructions ya kwamba iwe tu limited and this instructions niliambiwa na bishop wakati nilikuja hapa aliniambia kwa sababu ni kanisa uh, nisiruhusu mtu yeyote azuguze na mimi akanipatia kwa sababu mimi ni kijana wa hapa hata nyinyi mnajua ndio maana amaniruhusu si mnuruhusu kwa sababu eh, your excellency deputy governor tafadhali ni kwa heshima tu nje ukaribishe tu naibu wa rais kwa sababu mimi yes asante sana ndugu yangu osoro Bishop Ken Nyerieka Your Excellency the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya and the 5th President of the Republic of Kenya yeah. Members of Parliament with us here today MCS and Naviongozi Wote I will be a very obedient person also and follow the instructions and uh, say one thing only bishop ametuombea vizuri sana na akasema 
God to give us our wishes. You pray for it, you will get it. Sisi tunaombea Deputy President wetu akue rais next year. Na ni wana huwa amena joining me in that prayer. Tafadhali asanteni. Bishop that is our wish, that's our prayer. Na mimi nasema vile uliombea ndu yangu usuru paka akakuwa mchumbe na mimi pia uniombee. Kwaayo machaje with humility may I invite you to be upstanding as we invite His Excellency the David President. Asanteni sana tafadhali tuketi chini. Thank you very much. Asanteni. Um ask of way to Ken and your dear wife na mchungaji Rotich na mke wako ndugu wa Kristo watu wa hapa kisi hamjambo Bwana Yesu asifiwe God is good and all the time hebu mnisalimie hewani hivi nione Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tufike hapa. Thank you very much Bishop Ken for welcoming us to this sanctuary. Um, nilipata ujumbe asubuhi ya leo kutoka Bishop Makarioki. Na akaniambia niwasalimie. Uh, Bishop Mark Karioki is a spiritual father to our family. We have known him we have known him for maybe 25 years. So we've known him for quite a while. So um, I must confess I must say that because how did this church happen and I didn't come here? Huh? <laughs> I mean, surely. My friends should change me because I've been to Kisi many times. Uh, and I should have been the first one in this church. But I guess God's timing is the best. So I am truly, truly happy that I found my way to this church. And thank you, Silvanas. Thank you, Silvanas, for making it possible to come here, for making it possible for me to come here. I am truly amazed at what you have done. Congratulations. Um, and I, I regret that I haven't made a contribution to the building of this church. But I guess it's never too late. <laughs> uh, but let me say again, congratulations. God has truly blessed you with a beautiful sanctuary to the glory of God. Um, I, I want to say just uh, maybe two or three things. Um, thank you, church, for raising men and women who know and love God. A son of this sanctuary, Sylvanas, is a member of my team. And I am the richer with him. And I know it is your mentorship and what you have done to him that I have the benefit of working with him. And I want to say thank you very much. Many other sons of this altar, including Buru, 
are uh, Buru is like my son. In fact, I, 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 I was the father when we went to have him married. So uh, I want to say uh, thank you very much. And I want to say the following, that um, because of men like him and many other members of parliament that uh, I work with, we have built a very big team and it is around men like uh, Silvanas who know the word of God that we have been reminded always to trust God. I know many of you, whenever you see me, you, you, you wonder how I survive. Because sometimes there is too much war around me. But I want to tell you, when you see me here, you see a testimony of God's goodness. And it gives meaning to the words of Daniel 11.32 that those who know their God, they will be strong and they will do great exploits. Because we know there is God in heaven. And I want to encourage you as a church. We may have many issues, but be reminded always of the words of Daniel 11.32 so that you can stay strong and you can forge ahead. In fact, in Kiswahili it says, wale wanao mjua mungu wao watakuwa jasiri na watafanya mambo maku. So, that's my prayer for you as members of this church. <clears throat> as I have said, God has been kind to us. We have built a very big team. And I want to tell you, uh, today I work with close to 150 members of parliament from across Kenya. And it is because the words of Psalms 133, verses 1, 2, and 3, reminds us and says how good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. In another, in another scripture, it says in harmony. We are reminded as a team that Though we come from different backgrounds, though we come from different regions, we may come from different religions, we may come from different ethnic groups, but it is the will of God for us to work together in unity. And it is because of verse 3 that says, where there is unity, God commands a blessing. And, and that is the basis upon which God has helped us to build this team. Because it is in God's perfect will. And I want to encourage you as a church to pray for our nation so that we can build it on the foundation of unity and so that God can command a blessing upon our nation. I know many of you have heard me talk about bottom-up and you're wondering, what is bottom-up? I want you to open your, your, your Bible, Psalms 113 and verses 7 and 8. And the scripture says, there you are. He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the ash heap. And it goes on 
to say that he may sit him with princes. And in fact, in another uh, fashion, it says, he sits them with kings and princes. That is the meaning of bottom-up, good people. You had Bishop here. You had Bishop here this morning speak about bottom-up. At, at, least, at, least, at, at least I had him. Because he said, God is the lifter of men. Right? So, if you, if you read the same Bible in Swahili, it says, Mungu huinua wanyonge kutoka mavumbini. Na huyo mungu humfanya fukara na maskini wakaketi meza moja na wafalme. And that is the basis of what we are discussing. That it is possible for us to lift the jobless, to lift the people with small businesses, and we can all move together without leaving anybody behind. And it is my prayer that God will give us the wherewithal, the knowledge, the capacity to be able to lift men and women in accordance with his word. Finally, uh, I, I, haven't said, uh, I haven't said anything out of line, Bishop, have I? I'm still there. But only... <laughs> Finally, uh, brethren, let me, let me challenge you. First, by saying thank you very much for praying for us. I know you pray for our country. I know you pray for us as leaders. And when you see me here standing, it's an answered prayer. It confirms. If you didn't have any confirmation that your prayers are answered, if you look at me, then you can see an answered prayer. And I want to tell you, just like Galatians 6, 9, and 10, says. Galatians says uh, chapter 6 and verses 9 do not tire of doing good. Right? For in season you shall reap if we do not faint. I want to tell you as church do not tire of doing good. Continue to pray for our nation. But I also want to tell you uh, what chapter 10, or verse 10 of the same chapter says. It says, while you have opportunity, let us do good to all men. Right? Yes. But then it says, especially. Yeah. Especially. Yes. I don't want to say more than that. <laughs> I am telling you to do good to all men, but especially to those of the household of faith. So that as you pray for this nation, pray so that God can raise men and women who know God in the leadership of our nation. That is uh, my very humble request uh, to you as a church. And uh, I want to promise you that we will not let you down. We know what we believe in, and we are unapologetic, and we are unashamed of our faith. Uh, Bishop said something very profound that we have many of us uh, politicians now coming to church please welcome all of us to church it is also my contribution on evangelism 
I am evangelizing the people in my corner. So when you see them come to church, please receive them and preach the word of God to them. It's the only opportunity you have to show them God. I know they come with a lot of noise sometimes. Uh, I was told by one bishop that uh, one politician came to church and because he had been invited as the guest of honor, he went and, right, uh, and sat straight on the bishop's chair because he thought that was the one for the guest of honor. <laughs> but uh, those are just minor mistakes. Why do I say so, uh, Bishop? If you, uh, if you read Philippians on, 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 on how evangelism evolved, Paul says to Philippians, chapter 1 and verses 15, 17 to 18, he says there are those who preach the word out of goodwill. But there are those who preach the word of God out of strife and out of envy. In fact, Paul says there are even those who preach the word of God out of pretense. But he doesn't begrudge them. He says, so long as the word of God is being preached. Eh? Hata kama mtu amekuja kanisani hapo akitegea siasa wacha tu akuje atapatana na neno la Mungu. <laughs> Because that's the experience of Paul, you know. So, thank you very much church for welcoming us. We are at home when we are uh, in church. I have said continue to pray for our nation and we will also continue to pray for you as you stand in the gap for our nation. Uh, finally, um, I am a product of prayer and giving. And if there is one thing God has taught me in politics is the art of giving. I didn't learn it in church. I learned it in politics. And I want to remind you that uh, when you are asked by bishop to give, I want to remind you the words of uh, Acts. Acts 20.35 says, it is Jesus Christ himself It is not the bishop, you know, uh, I think it's up there. And remember, that be, and remember the words of the Lord Jesus that he said. In, in another fashion it says, Jesus Christ himself, that he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. So it's not the words of the bishop, it is not the words of men. It's the words of Christ himself. And that is the secret many people have not discovered. And that is why they complain a lot when others give. Bishop, you have done, and your team here, you have done a wonderful... Uh, you have done a wonderful church. You have done a wonderful church. As I said... Uh, it is uncommon, and I regret that I haven't made a contribution. But today I have a million shillings for, for as my contribution. And, and because I have seen uh, your commitment, uh, you know, I, you've heard that I have chicken, right? <laughs> <laughs> so nitapanga hiyo ya kuuza mayai nitatuma huyu kijana tena 
I'll let another one million. Yeah, yeah, can it here? <laughs> because I am truly, truly blessed uh, from from what I have seen in this uh, in this great sanctuary. Uh, thank you very much for everything that uh, has happened. Uh, and if there is anything that has been said that is not correct, Bishop, uh, So asante ni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu. Okay. Everybody seated right there. Uh, just, just one minute only. One minute. Your Excellency... I know you have many Bibles, you have been given so many Bibles, we have a gift for you of a Bible that is nothing different except Thank you. Really appreciate it. And the ladies have a rhino for mama. For mama. Please receive it from the ladies. Thank you so very much. Uh, thank you so, so very much. Really appreciate it. Would you talk to me for a second? Because I hear people singing outside. You will see how to do it. Okay, I want to speak a blessing and everybody will be seated. You will allow me with His Excellency to just walk down and then the people will gather. If they are, you are gathered outside, they will talk and speak to His people and listen to Him. And Kenya needs God-fearing men. God bless you. Shall we lift up our hands as we are seated, please? Father, I speak a blessing to everybody right now. And I pray that your hand will be each one of us. And may your presence go with us. And Father, we pray for the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. That God, the way you have preserved him, you will keep on preserving him. And his vision and his dream. Lord, bring it to fruition. Lord, help him and help all the members of parliament and all the team that is working with and every leader that came here. I bless every man and woman in Jesus' name. And we all say, Amen. Amen. Everybody seated just like, like that. I will usher my guests. 